In this video by Deck Plate, we will be discussing how PTSD can exacerbate obstructive sleep apnea, OSA. Some of the most common obstructive sleep apnea, OSA, conditions experienced by military personnel. Disclaimer. This video is for educational purpose only. It's not intended for doctor-patient or lawyer-client relationship. How PTSD can exacerbate obstructive sleep apnea, OSA. OSA affects between 17 to 22 percent of the general population. Among individuals with PTSD, that number ranges from 12 to 90 percent. People who have both OSA and PTSD are more likely to have more severe PTSD symptoms. Sleep-disordered breathing can be a sign of untreated OSA, which is associated with worse symptoms of PTSD. Veterans are up to three times more likely to have PTSD men, who represent a larger percentage of the veteran population, are also more likely to have sleep apnea. According to one study, 69% of Vietnam veterans with PTSD also had sleep-disordered breathing. One study found that 69% of young Iraq and Afghanistan war veterans screened positive for OSA. Individuals with PTSD who also experience sleep problems such as OSA are likely to experience more severe depression, a higher suicide risk, increased substance abuse, and a poorer quality of life. Does PTSD cause sleep apnea, or is it the other way around? It's hard to say. Individuals with more severe OSA, measured by the number of times a person experiences an apnea, or stops breathing for 10 seconds or more each hour, are more likely to have more severe PTSD. At the same time, the more severe their PTSD, the more severe their OSA. Specifically, for each clinically significant increase in PTSD symptom severity, a veteran's risk of OSA increased by 40%. The disturbed sleep caused by sleep apnea can contribute to sleep deprivation that worsens PTSD symptoms, making recovery more difficult. Even if a sleeper doesn't wake up while experiencing OSA symptoms, sleep apneas arouse the sympathetic nervous system, decreasing overall sleep quality. The resulting sleep deprivation can impair mood and decision-making, reducing a person's likelihood of using CPAP therapy, the common treatment for sleep apnea. How PTSD can cause sleep disturbances. There are many sleep problems that may be associated with PTSD such as obstructive sleep apnea. Individuals with PTSD are at higher risk for obstructive sleep apnea, OSA. In some cases, this may be caused by weight gain due to lifestyle changes associated with the PTSD. Sedating medications can make obstructive sleep apnea worse. Insomnia. An estimated 9 in 10 people with PTSD suffer from insomnia. This is largely due to hyperarousal, in which the individual is unable to relax. It may also be a lingering effect of having been in a situation that required constant alertness at night. Insomnia and PTSD may also be self-perpetuating, as the stress of not being able to fall asleep eventually leads to maladaptive sleep behaviors such as daytime napping or substance abuse. Nightmares and Night Terrors Nightmares and night terrors plague a majority of people with PTSD, leading to nighttime awakenings and making it difficult to get back to sleep. The content of these vivid dreams is sometimes related to past trauma, with many PTSD sufferers reporting repetitive nightmares. Nightmares are sometimes treated with imagery rehearsal therapy, in which the patient rewrites the script of the dream with a less threatening version during waking hours. Other Sleep Disorders you may experience other problems with how you sleep such as sleep terrors, sleepwalking, sleep talking, upsetting dreams and night sweats or REM sleep behavior disorder, where dreams are acted out. Anxiety and depression during sleep. The extreme anxiety of PTSD, caused by trauma or catastrophe, can seriously disrupt sleep. In some cases, this starts a few months after the event. You might suffer from strong fear, horror and or feel helpless. Also, people with PTSD have higher rates of depression, and this is often associated with poor sleep. Sleep issues due to medications. Side effects of some antidepressant medications used to treat symptoms of PTSD may cause sleep problems, especially at the start of a course of treatment. Talk to your doctor about this. Lifestyle factors. People with PTSD may engage in lifestyle behaviors that increase the risk of OSA, such as smoking, alcohol use, or substance abuse. 
These behaviors can contribute to airway inflammation and relaxation, worsening OSA symptoms. Synergistic effects The combination of PTSD and OSA can have synergistic effects, with each condition potentially exacerbating the other. Poor sleep quality associated with OSA can intensify PTSD symptoms, leading to a cycle of increased sleep disturbances and worsening mental health. Delayed sleep phase syndrome Issues linked to the body clock, such as delayed sleep phase syndrome, may occur in a person with PTSD. If you can't get to sleep until very late at night and then need to sleep in, you may be experiencing this problem. It is important to remember that poor sleep can make the other symptoms of PTSD worse. Thank you for watching our video. Please don't forget to subscribe and like our videos.